if you say that Kyle is obsessed with football and wants a guy who goes all in, why did he not say yes to Tom Brady? No one knows. No one knows. And people give excuses like the money didn't work out, the contract didn't work out. But I think that the bottom line is, and I do want to drive that home, is that if he really wanted Tom Brady, they could have found a way to make it work. And if he was so convinced that Tom Brady would have been the reason, then he would have found a way to make it work. And if you're convinced Tom Brady's the reason, then the one guy you lose because the money didn't work, it's okay if you lose him because you have Tom Brady. And it comes down to the fact that I don't think Kyle Shanahan was 100% convinced that Brady was the answer. I don't. Yes. And I also, yeah, I think there was a, I think there was a lot of people in the league this last year that thought he lost it. The arm wasn't there, that he was a big reason. To, I think the Patriots felt that way. I think Bill Bell, the, it was reported that the, the Patriots never really made him a competitive offer. They made him an offer that basically said, hey, go if you want because we need to move on. And I, I feel like that's how Bill Belichick felt. That's how Kyle Shanahan felt. And Tom Brady, Prove him competitor, wrong. competitor that he is, proved him wrong. So, Too bad. I mean, everyone on my YouTube channel told me I was wrong. All my friends told me I was wrong about Tom Brady. The dude proved everyone wrong. I don't know how he did it because, honestly, his arm looks a lot stronger this year than it did last year. It does, doesn't it? No. Nah. He still had the arm last year. He just didn't have weapons. And that's why I, I, I tell people, please calm down with the Cam Newton criticism because those weapons are really, really bad. What was Cam Newton supposed to do? But maybe we can do a Cam Newton topic another day. It's true. But it just goes to show you again, why are the weapons so bad? Because of drafting. Because mm. Bill. Because the head coach. So again, would I like uh, the side? The Niner fans don't care. But I love this little legacy contest between Brady and Belichick. I freaking love it because it felt to me like Belichick threw down the gauntlet and was like, you know what? I'm going to use – I wanted Jimmy, and Jimmy just went to the Super Bowl, and you didn't, and I'm going to take this opportunity to show that my legacy was more than just you. And Tom was like, oh, okay, go ahead. Do it. I'm going to do the same thing, and we'll see. We'll see who wins. I love it. I kind of like Tom Brady. I don't, people you don't like romanticize him. these sports stories too much. I know. I I don't know. I like – he got up in Teron Matthews' face. It seemed like he was wrong, not Matthew. It seemed like yeah. he was but, – but, 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 but Tom Brady, God's gift on green earth, sent Tyron Matthew a long three-paragraph text message today apologizing. I'm not saying he's God's gift, but I appreciate thing. that. The one no, thing no, I like I'm about not, Tom Brady I'm, I'm is when he moves. Off the field, that is so punk, and I don't. But, like but that about it. it's it's because he's so like competitive that. that he can't do it. No, I I, no I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just poking fun at the fact yeah. that people and now we're gonna just find a way to put Brady on a pedestal for every action. Like tomorrow, when Brady eats his cereal, he's gonna be holding that spoon in a way that other people have never thought of holding about holding his spoon. Yeah, and that to me, I feel like is where you can see the difference in how white and black quarterbacks are covered. When Brady is a bad sport, somehow that's good. But when yeah. Cam Newton is a bad sport, he's he's I'm a Pistons he fan. Well. When the prop, like, come when on. the propaganda, when the propaganda doc came out in the beginning of corn, quarantine about the goat Jordan obviously, but it was a fully propaganda doc. Remember the one week, remember the one week ESPN just bashing Isaiah Thomas and Isaiah Thomas is going on every other show trying to defend himself and Bill Lambeer for walking off the court. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, they really made that a big deal, but it, it is a, a thing. But the thing about that is that the Pistons beat the Bill Bulls more than the Bulls beat the Pistons. They made it seem Callum like them grand. Yeah. They like that, that, that show was like, Hey, yeah. So we overcame the Pistons and they were, I the took it personally. Like, Dog, you beat them one time. It's like it's like LeBron James being like, yeah, we beat the Warriors that one time. And then that was that. Like, no, that's not the story. Anyway, uh, Goldblood21 says, I know Grant likes Trask and might be best to wait till later in the draft for quarterback. If it is quarterback at 12, who are you higher on, Lance or Jones? Kyle? Okay, okay. First of all, I do want to say something because I think people have gone a little crazy with what Grant's opinion of Trask is. Grant likes Trask. But Grant's not taking Trask at 12 either, okay? Yeah. So Grant's, Grant's not crazy about Trask. Yeah. 
Jones no. to me is a second round quarterback. The only reason you would take Jones in the first round is because you want to get his fifth year option, which means you're only taking him between picks 28 and 32. Anything before that is too early. And I like Jones. I don't think he's bad. He's just not a first round quarterback. Lance is a little bit of a wild card. He's probably the one I would take at 12 just because he's got the biggest physical upside and he's got this special running ability paired with an arm that's live and can make all the throws where you do see a ceiling to him. But but I, I, I'm not totally enamored with all three options at 12, if I can say that to me. Lance at 22, Jones at 32 or even 50, and Trask at 55, 60 would be the way would be the ideal value points for all three of them. Yeah, if you can get Trask at 46, that, is, that, is that their pick? 44, 46? What, what is it? Yeah, I think I think it's 44. 40 ish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. I wouldn't trade up for Trask. And if he's gone at 44, oh well. Sorry. If Kellen Mond's available, I'd take him there at 44 too. If he's not there, it wasn't meant to be. Wait till next. You still got Josh Rosen. This is still next year. So that's the way I would I would approach it. You know, there's a couple guys I like it at round two, but not guys I have to have. Not guys I have to have. Anyway. Um, Sean says, Vish, I think you mean Gruden was able to read the lips of Gannon, realize they were using the same play calls, taught it to his defense. Yes, Gruden won the Super Bowl. Uh, Callahan handed it to him on a silver platter. That's yeah. really neither. Yep, you're right, Sean. You're but right. John Gruden, John Gruden put together that all star defensive, uh, uh, staff with Monty Kiffin, Gus Bradley, Joe Barry, Mike Tomlin, all those guys. John Gruden hired every single one of them for Tampa to run their Tampa 2 defense, right. No, they were already there. 